Well, guess it's time to go kill Jimmy. You know, that's all right, but uh, if you're going to live here on our special reservation, then you're going to have to work like the rest of us, and we do lots of farming, so you could help out with the farming, growing our potatoes and mushrooms, because that's literally the only thing the blight didn't kill. I can see it laid out before me, like a land before the rising sun, a new world, and I will build it. I will lead this people into the sun. Yeah, and then and then the other house is going to go right here. And then the the special oil refinery will be right here. Now we're putting it up there. I was thinking we might put it over here. Are you getting this all, Jimmy? Are you getting my plans here? I'm kind of happy society collapsed. That, Jimmy, that, that will give us enough resources that we'll be able to begin construction on the space elevator. Then we can send colonies to the moon. Hey there. Hey. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. I want to take care of you. Don't you worry. I have some I have some very, very soft, very nice and quiet medical supplies that I am going to rub around in front of your face to heal you. It's all going to be okay. It's all going to be great. You know, man, I bet if I got like a a, a tortoise shell and like some Like, like horse hair. But it could make a pretty sweet liar. Listen, Jimmy, I'm paying you in a lot of food. I've got a lot of beef jerky and canned tuna, okay? And because that's the only thing that works in this economy anymore is food, direct bartering. And I've got a lot of it that I'm going to give you and your people. So put some elbow grease into it, okay? I want my space elevator done by next Saturday. Look, listen, Sparky. Here's the deal. I don't care what ESFJ told you. You cannot stomach killing zombies unless you are bleeding alcohol, okay? You you can't kill zombies sober. You will throw up. This is the most disgusting thing on the face of this planet. Like, it's a scientific fact, okay, that you cannot kill zombies sober. I swear to you. So drink the whiskey. You know, most people in the apocalypse are only worried about the physical needs. About food, water, shelter, clothing. That's all easy. You can take care of that. But you know what's hard? What's truly hard? Is the spiritual needs. Who is going to tend to those? How are we to save ourselves from spiritual degeneration? Which is why I've started a religion. Yeah, what? I'll just give them some of the tuna cans. We've got, uh, I got a spreadsheet on the, on the single computer. Here, I can check. Wait, what? What do you mean he paid them 100 tuna cans? Is he, is he still working on the space elevator? I thought he was building the bridge to the water supply. Okay, so, listen guys. Did you know, because I didn't know this until I tried it, that, uh, if you soak a zombie head in whiskey, don't tell ESTP, but in like a, a bathtub of whiskey or moonshine, it explodes. You know the best thing about the apocalypse? I don't have to wear pants anymore. You may ask, ENTP, why did you throw the head of a zombie into a bathtub filled with whiskey? Why did you even fill a bathtub up with whiskey? Well, I'll tell you. So like, you know, I just sort of spruced up this one guy's yard because, you know, he was dead inside. It was pretty, pretty freaky, but, you know, I just planted some daffodils and uh, I guess they're making the space elevator over there. Man, that stuff is loud. Anyway, uh, so all I really need now is just a sweet liar and then I can just sort of while my days away, you know, man? 
Look alive, boys and girls, look alive. Keep that hammering up, keep that song up, keep that work effort up. I am loving it, great. We gotta get this thing done by next Tuesday. No, Jimmy, you cannot go to the restroom. Carrie, stop poking Sally, come on. No, Todd, do you wanna go to detention again? I will put you in the shed. You don't wanna go in the shed, huh? Yeah, that's right, you keep working. All right, come on, little guys, come on, little chillins. Listen, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, they're misunderstood. The zombies, they're misunderstood. They're not that dangerous. They're actually kind of cute. You just got to throw them some deer meat or like a whole deer and you can, you know, you just got to be patient. You can teach them all kinds of tricks and things. Like I taught one to, to be able to carry me anywhere that I want and I just hold some like goat meat down there and he can eat that while he carries me through the woods. And I taught one how to do backflips and I taught some to make like a human pyramid. Wow. Looks like some zombies tripped the wire for quadrant three. I better get my uh, giant crossbow. And I taught another one how to be like my secretary. So like he sits at a desk and he like reads my emails even though I don't get emails so it's really cute. And uh, I taught another one to pick flowers and how to make bouquets. Like you can teach them to do all kinds of things if you just give them enough meat. Is this even focused on my face? Will we go quietly into that dark night? No, we will not. We will rise above the apocalypse and all of its terrible effects. We will rebuild a new world, a brighter world, of peace and prosperity and sufficient diversity and all the other things that are really nice to say in a speech. No, Jimmy, you may not go to the restroom. Carrie, stop poking Sally. Yeah, Jimmy tastes pretty good.